In this video, we are going to learn about nucleic acid. The function of nucleic acids are store and transmit genetic information. The example of nucleic acid RNA or ribonucleic acid, DNA deoxyribonucleic acid and ATP adenosine triphosphate. Nucleic acid structure is the polymer form. It is come from monomer nucleotides. So, the biopolymer form of nucleic acid is polynucleotides. Poly means many. A single nucleotide is made of three important groups. They are phosphate, sugar and nitrogenous bases the sugar of nucleotides is 5 carbon sugar are called pentoses pan meaning 5 there are different type of pentoses in our body the two types of pentoses that are present inside the nucleic acid. They are ribose and deoxyribose. We have the carbon atom on each of the corner. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. C5 is located outside the ring. And there is O, oxygen. Now, we compare the structure with the chemical structure of deoxyribose and ribose, you can see the structure clearly. If you compare the ribose and the oxyribose structure, the only major difference is only carbon number 2. See the oxyribose structure. The carbon number 2 contains only hydrogen atom and not the hydroxyl group. You can also call dioxyribose from the name prefix dioxy in which means the removal of oxygen. Dioxyribose is more stable as compared to ribose because one less functional group. Deoxyribose is present in DNA and ribose is present in RNA. Next, the important group is phosphate group. Phosphate group consists the phosphorus atoms in the center to reach four oxygen atoms, which are negatively charged. Nitrogenous bases Molecules that contain nitrogen and act as a basis. It means donate electrons and form new molecules. Nitrogen combined with C, H, and O to form ring structure. There are two types of ring structure, single ring and double ring. Single ring are called pyrimidines and double rings are called purines. There are three types of pyrimidines. They are thymine, cytosine and uracil. And there are two types of purines, they are adenine and guanine. See the structure of adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine, and uracil on the screen. Since pyrimidine has single ring and purines has double ring, so purines are larger than pyrimidines. So, now you know the individual structure which are present in a single nucleotide. Next, we will look at how these individual structures bond to each other to form a single nucleotide. 
if the nitrogenous base is from pyrimidines or single rings so c1 from the sugar will connect to nitrogen number one and if the nitrogenous base is from double ring or purines the carbon number one from the sugar will connect to nitrogen number nine see the structure of rna on the left hand side and dna on the right hand side the base pairs into the space between the two backbones so that the helix has a regular shape in order to do this the bases pair up so that a always pairs with t g always pairs with c the bases on the strand always link to a particular base on the other strand we say they form complementary pairs The two strands run in opposite direction to each other. Compare the number 3 and number 5 position of the dioxyribose sugar units in the two chains. If the DNA has cytosine, guanine, adenine, and thymine, so the RNA has cytosine, guanine, adenine, and uracil. Uracil is on RNA only and thymine is on DNA only. The main points about the structure of DNA are each strand has a backbone of alternating sugar and phosphate units. This is on the outside of the structure. The two strands run in opposite direction to each other. Compare the third and fifth position of the dioxyribose sugar units in the two chains. The two strands are twist to form a double helix. If RNA single helix. The bases are linked by hydrogen bond. Now, see the question. Representing the nitrogen containing bases by B, sugar by S, and phosphate group by P, show how these are linked in a short length of double stranded DNA. Useful line to show covalent bonds and dots to show hydrogen bond. Part B, how do the two backbones in DNA differ? State how this difference is shown on the diagram of DNA. Questions? The diagram below represent the basic chemical unit from which DNA is formed. A, state the name of the whole unit, X and Y. Name the four nitrogen containing bases present in DNA. Thank you.